Well, hello there and welcome back to the Hull City Fan Central YouTube channel, where today I do have the match day vlog for Hull City versus Swansea City. Set to be a very, very good game, considering that this is the first game with Shota in charge. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. I've done a little bit, of, a little bit of practice since my previous video. Obviously, this is a Swansea side currently out of form, I would say. Uh, they're sitting just three points above us in the championship. Uh, I believe they've got a few games in hand, though, due to the coronavirus down in Wales being a bit iffy with uh, with their government get, having tighter restrictions than in England. But uh, it should be a good game. Uh, as I did predict in my video yesterday, I predicted a 2-0 win. So uh, we will just see. If you can see off to the side, there's some uh, Swansea tickets when I actually went down to Swansea. Um, quite a few seasons ago now, back when we was in the Premier League. All that long ago, but it's going to come back, we promise. So anyway, let's get off to the MKM Stadium. Come on, you all! <laughs> Okay, here's the team for the Tigers. In goal, we do have Nathan Baxter. Then coming up with that, we do have Jacob Greaves, Richie Smallwood as captain, Greg Doherty, Tom Eaves, George Honeyman, Keen Lewis Potter, Ryan Longman, Sean McLaughlin, Brandon Fleming back in the starting lineup, and Deshaun Bernard, baby. Let's go on to Swansea City's starting lineup. Okay, so here's the team for Swansea. In goal, they do have Hammer, then followed by Christie, Kambanga, Nautyton, uh, Manning, Latibradiera, Fulton, Grimes as captain, Smith, Wolf, and Perroe. And it's another goal for the Tigers, this time coming from Tom Eaves. And it's a brilliant goal taken by him in the fifth minute of time. Uh, and it's a nice assist by Brandon Fleming, who is back into the starting lineup after a very long time out. And another goal for the Tigers, this time coming in the 17th minute by Keen Lewis Potter to make it 2 0 to Hull City. A nice assist by George Hunman. First of all, I thought that this goal wasn't going to go in by the cross, but it did. It ended up in the back of the net, and it makes it 2 0 for the Tigers. <laughs> Well, it was another successful game with a Jun Illajali in charge, and the first game for Shota, I believe that's how you pronounce his name, but it's another 2 0 and another clean sheet for the Tigers. That makes it three wins on the bounce, three clean sheets, and we are now up to 18th in the table, uh, drawing with Swansea on points and on goal difference, but they've got a few more goals scored, so that means that they're in, ch in front. A fantastic performance by all the players, especially Tom Eaves, Keelish Potter and Brandon Fleming, who makes his first league start um, for the club this season, which I thought he did a fantastic job, and he would get my man of the match, if he scored. But my man of the match actually goes to Tom Eaves. So yes, Tom Eaves gets my man of the match for this game. And I believe he got it for the uh, the last home game at Black against Blackburn. So he's on two of the trot for me. Uh, the official one in the stadium did actually go to Keen Lewis Potter. Uh, but I, I feel that he wasn't playing as well as he could have today. I understand that he did get um, a goal. Um, but he didn't assist, no. No, he didn't assist. So he got a goal, but, you know, not really showing Tottenham and Brentford that he wants to go there, is he? So, you know, not the best performance by him. But uh, we did still win 2-0. Um, I feel that we played very defensive after that second goal went in. Um, we were playing six at the back at some times, um, which I felt that was inviting too much from Swansea. 
Um, and I feel that if, if we was up against better opponents, such as Bournemouth, Fulham, Blackburn, that we have been, um, I feel that we could have seen um, a, either an, either an equaliser or maybe even a little bit of a comeback or a consolation goal. Um, so definitely, definitely need to watch that out. But I feel that the squad have really gelled well together, especially with this new manager in charge. I'm pleasantly surprised he's been in charge of the club, what, two days? And he's putting out a performance like that against uh, a club that we struggle well we didn't get a goal past them earlier on in the season i understand then we were struggling for goals uh full stop but yeah some uh, some a little bit of work needs to be done but i feel set pieces we have we have improved um especially some of them corners uh there was definitely one of them corners that was taken by George Hunneman, where there was a nice bit of um, play, which you can definitely see it's been working on in the training ground. Um, and I feel that we just like to see a, bit, a, few, a few more of them. Um, and that one, unlucky it didn't go in, it resulted in a goal, but it was very, very close. So uh, yeah, love to see this. Uh, love to see Shota's debut game um, ending a 2 0 win. Obviously, clean sheet. Another clean sheet for Nathan Baxter. Um, but anyway, that's it for this video. Make sure that you like and subscribe so you don't miss any other videos. I will, of course, have a match prediction and match vlog out for next, week game, next week's game against Preston at the MKM Stadium. There'll be a few videos in the week as well, maybe a bit of a news update and that sort of thing. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But that's it for this video. Goodbye.